All right, guys, what's going on? Your boy David, aka Davex, back on the channel, back with Bleach Brave Souls. I'm back at it with the king, the one and only Aizen. But not the green one, not the technique one, but the mind one. We got the mind Aizen who is about to get resurrected. Um, so yeah, he is max transcended. Um, if we go to the character, I have level 2 SP on this character. He is resurrectable right about now. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this together. And we're gonna showcase uh, the first ever to come out. Thousand Year Blood Horizon. Here we go. Let's get it. Kaboom! Resurrected mind thousand year blood war eisen let's get it so uh he is 20 20 20 already uh he has the weakened defense and the full stamina damage boost as the extra bonus abilities so uh let us adjust this character up to level 200 real quickly okay there we go with all the purple numbers and the purple stars it looks amazing he looks so good uh, so let's uh, check over his skills real quickly. So he is a ranged character uh, with the charge up on the third strong attack. He did got Havoc as an innate skill which is amazing to get in a resurrection. It's insane to see this, to finally see this happening. So uh, normal attack damage and strong attack damage with 20%. Devastation 40% reduced strong attack cooldown by 12%. Lost the survival as a skill as well. Full stamina damage boost. Uh, we got the 25% and we got the new uh, link plus 16% as well which means that this Eisen is gonna be a kick-ass of a link as well to actually use uh, furthermore we have the frenzy plus one the debilitator plus five seconds the start barrier plus uh, 10 which starts off as soon as you'll start playing with this character sprinter plus one and the weakened defense as the bonus skill as well so uh, he also has as of today still a useful killer which is hollow which still isn't bad at all so in my opinion this character is still worth using however due of his uh, amazing <laughs> long taking third strong attack he didn't got the love that he deserved to actually get compared to the Yamamoto for example which came out at that time as well but with this resurrection with getting havoc and the full stamina damage boost with 16 percent this might be a big time changer for this character so uh let's go and let's check out this character and the actual gameplay okay guys so we're gonna take this aizen into solo inheritance zone the mind only against the purple enemies the hard attribute uh characters enemies whatever you want to call it plus we got the killer advantage as well we got hollow enemies which is absolutely perfect so if we go into this amazing amazing looking uh max transcended aizen mind uh telling you blood or aizen you guys have seen it so max transcended with level 2 sp strong attack recharge minus 12 percent and damage afflicted at full stamina plus 16 percent he has a base sp right now of 1640 plus an additional 4332 sp which is bringing him close up to 6000 total sp which is pretty insane if you ask me so if you go to accessory setup uh, i'm not using attention tie because okay uh, it might be interesting to nuke as hard as possible but uh, that's not what we're, what we're gonna test out in the showcase so uh, we got the lieutenant's badge with 30% sp we got the fortification pill with 30% sp and we got the t set with 30% sp as well so basically this should be like pretty much the the best accessories that you can get furthermore though the most interesting part on this character my character links guys here comes the fun part we're starting off with the mind jushiro strong attack recharge minus 14 percent and strong attack damage plus 16 percent max transcended link as well furthermore we got rihuka strong attack recharge minus 40 percent as well also max transcended and guess guess again Tensus and Getsu, strong attack recharge minus 14% as well, also max transcended and damage inflicted at full stamina another 60% as well. 
so we basically have a complete max transcended showcase character with possibly the best links that you can get non full stamina damage related uh boost whatsoever so we kind of got a complete maxed uh minus 14 percent build all max transcended so i cannot wait what sort of damage we'll do with this character so we're gonna use all of the boost we're gonna turn off the allies and let's start our quest so i'm really curious what kind of damage we can bring out with the new havoc that uh, he got as an innate skill and the damage and what it and the damage as a link so we got 15 57 percent uh damage at full stamina so we got the normal attacks which in my opinion look still um, still look amazingly good look at this at these graphics they, it looks so good uh furthermore the first one attack is a beam forward which pretty much goes a long way the barrier is already gone uh, second strong attack is a uh, yeah. vortex that moves around him uh, up, up in front of him my apologies and we got the amazing third strong attack which is the first charge and now he's still charging up up to the next phase and this is the downside <laughs> the downside of this character. sadly not but here it comes Tada! It looks so good though. It looks so great. Look at how cool he looks. Uh, and then when you eventually do it, guys, let's test it. Kaboom! 124k? What? 124! You've got to be joking. Oh, we can already use it again? We can already use it again. Okay, very interesting. Uh, there's one hollow. Sheesh! 64k! That's insane! We're doing insane numbers, guys! And my strong, my third strong attack is so quick on re recharging itself, which is insane. Uh, let's do the, the first strong attack. 30k, 30k, not bad, not at all. Uh, 10k on the on the uh, crawling vortex in front of him. Another 30k on the first strong attack, which is amazingly good. We got 10k on the second strong attack. With decent crowd control, in my opinion, 31k over there. Uh, but honestly, the third strong attack is doing insane damage. Let's test it. Half, halfly charged. We got a hollow in here. Yes, we do. 60, 66k. Okay, 67. Um, if we can possibly get our combo up a bit more, that would be interesting as well. But honestly, guys, this character is actually he's usable definitely well i mean as a maximum standard character even more but with the half that he got and the full full stamina damage boost as a link this is pretty insane and you got a lot of the chant though you got a lot of it Boom! Ah, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's get it. Here we go. 131k, guys. Honestly, this is mad. This is mad. We got almost 8k on the normal attacks. Uh, honestly, for a non-normal attack damage character, that isn't too bad either, in my opinion. But, yo, this is insane, guys, when it comes to damage. Like, seriously. Uh, let's test out the special move though. I'm really curious what we can get out of damage out of this. So we got a few hollows over here. Honestly, the special move is still so great. Let's see. 190! 190k! Yo, that's pretty insane. Okay! Yo! Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so this wasn't the speed one, not at all. Uh, we're gonna test it out once more. But I'm considering if we're gonna do a speed one, then we basically kinda need the Zeta pill. We kinda need it. So uh, let's switch Let's switch it real quickly. And uh, let's do... I'll try to do a speed one as, as good as I can. So uh, let's go once more. Honestly, guys, um, I enjoy this. I enjoy this a lot. 
But sadly enough, uh, if we got the speed run, then I don't have the chance to uh, use my uh, my third strong attack as much because yeah, it takes forever though. But with with this full with the full um, 14% recharge links, honestly, it doesn't take that long to recharge itself, in my opinion. Having long strike would be even better on this character too, but uh, bup, 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 bup. trying as good as I can, guys. So if there are any other players out there who bet who are better than me, my apologies if I'm plebbing, but I'm quite sure. So uh, bup, 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 bup. I should have knew. I should have done that earlier to eventually clear this a little a little bit faster. Oh, come on, yes. Okay, one more time, let's play it. I'm so good. It looks so good, guys. You cannot deny it. 191k. Pretty insane numbers, though, if you ask me, guys. Like, seriously. Okay, let's see, though. Uh, what's our clear time? 51 seconds. It's definitely not bad, in my opinion. However, I, I, I'm not the expert when it comes to speedrunning, but in my opinion, below a minute is definitely, definitely not bad. Plus, guys, this is the moment to, to farm your potion since it's times two. I mean, I'm just using Aizen and I'm, I'm getting 32 potions. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, okay, so that's with the full recharge buildup. Uh, let's test it out with a complete full stamina damage setup. We can keep the Tenses and Getsu link, in my opinion. It will take a bit longer for our strong attacks to recharge itself though. I actually prefer this build more because now I can spam my strong, atta strong attacks as much as I can. But oh well. Uh, we got the chat link obviously that we need to use. I'm going with uh, two recharge links because those are the only recharge that I have. And we'll go with the Senkaizen link. However this could be interesting as well. The strong attack damage plus 25. This is an interesting one as well to try out though. Hmm. Ah. We're gonna do it with this setup because not everyone has, has this white Ichigo. And these two Sinkaizen, uh, Sinkaimon characters are easy to get. And uh, Tensei Sengetsu is fairly common. Uh, back, in, back in the day though it was fairly common. So uh, Okay, so let's test out with uh, this setup. Ah, shit, I bought an ally. Damn it. Okay, oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, let's test out the full stamina damage. So, I'm gonna start off things immediately with the charge attack because we do have two hollow enemies over there, so it's the perfect way to start things off. I should have switched the... the Data pill, to be honest, if I really need to test uh, the damage output. Because with the Lieutenant's badge, I do get an extra 20%, and now I'm losing that because of the Zeta ball, but oh well. Uh, full stamina damage build up. Let's see what our third complete charge attack can do. 133k, okay, so that's a bit more. 31k right off the bat again. Almost 8k. From the 8k from the start, okay, 32k, 32k, okay, so compared to my first setup, it's not that much of a difference up until now. Uh, 11k, yeah, 11k on the second strong attack, so I don't think we're missing, we're getting that much extra boost, 32, 33k though, 33k, um, on the first one so okay the 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 numbers are slightly slightly better but uh, in my opinion it's not making that much of a difference um let's test grab up all of you 70k though okay 70k on halfly charged that's pretty good that's pretty good that's not bad that's not bad 33k once more so, uh, compared to my previous build-up, I kind of like the previous one more. Uh, even though my strong attack is 68k, it's, it's pretty insane. I find, I find this awesome. I find these 
Number is pretty insane. So so insane that I barely could talk anymore. 34k, okay. So um let's see if, if there's a difference in the special move. We can use attention pie though. Pretty curious on that. Ah he killed the hollow shot. And I lost. Okay, um, I'm just gonna test out with the tension tie real quickly um, bup, 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 to see how much we can actually nuke. Should we do this? Should we do this? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna keep the tension tie. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go full nuke with this build up to actually just see um, how strong he will hit with his special move. So I'm just gonna uh, continue and uh, we're gonna switch until I'm able to use my special move. Okay guys, something else that I just only noticed only just now. As soon as you do the second strong attack, you'll see Aizen actually running. Which is super amazing. I, oh, I never knew this. I never knew this. Honestly, just, I just noticed. We, ah, you actually see him running as an illusion. Honestly, yo, this character, his visuals are so good. Even for a character from 2019, like seriously. Okay, so uh, we're gonna nuke with our first special move over here. Let's see, let's find out how much damage we can do with a full stamina damage build and attention high as well. Holy shit! 438! Yo! No way! No way, dude! No! Ah, oh, crap! No, no, no! Oh, wait, there, there should be health over here, right? Will it heal enough? Yeah, okay. 102 full stamina damage build up. Insane. Yo, guys, y'all saw that, right? 438. That was dope, honestly. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hollows. Hollows. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's fucking up. Anyway, let's restart. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's test it out once more. Uh, bo oh, no, shit. Yeah, almost did it again. Oh, Lord. Almost one shot it with the first strong attack. Okay, Hollow Killer. We got a, we got a Hollow. In the very last minute, we were able to special move. We got 30. 400k on the last one yeah 410 420 420k honestly guys those are some Mas insane numbers have. those are some insane numbers okay. so yeah guys um that's it for the telling you about war eisen mind version showcase so um I'm not the best when it comes to showcasing characters I honestly don't do it that often but honestly, I still hope that you guys enjoyed this showcase. Please make sure to check out the other showcases of this resurrection batch as well. We'll be doing a max transcendent showcase on the Speed Yamamoto as well. And on the uh, Tanya Blood War Soifon Shunko version as well. All I will all be doing max transcendent showcases on these characters so please make sure to check out those as well nevertheless though i still hope you guys enjoyed this showcase even though i'm not the best one when it comes to showcases but i think i did a pretty good job when it comes to this character reviewing the most important things when it comes to setup and builds as this character is an sp based character which can basically just do it with a full stamina damage boost or the recharge links and in the end if you kind of do somewhat of a mix in between them you'll eventually have the best build for this character so uh hope you guys all enjoyed the video guys please leave a like down below on this video for the one and the only mind max transcendent Eisen t20 uh yeah honestly guys he's a god in my opinion with these numbers that he can basically do right now in my opinion this character is much better right now compared to before his resurrection so honestly i might use this character even more i'm not too sure uh we'll see but anyhow uh let me know into the comments down below what you guys thought of this showcase did you guys enjoy it did you guys have any tips or tricks for me maybe that i can take into future 
um, showcases about characters, please do let me know. Let me know what you guys think of this character now that he got resurrected. Uh, what are your opinions on this character? Please do let me know into the comments. And if you're new, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below as well to see more Bleed Brave Souls or anime related content. We got the anniversary coming up in a small week. I wanted to stream my reaction on the Bankai livestream when they reveal the 8th anniversary character or characters. Sadly enough, I will not be able to do that since I'm renovating as my bathroom at home. So that needs to happen. So I won't be able to, um, to live stream my reaction on the Bankai livestream. But when the summons will drop, the anniversary summons, I will definitely do some live streams. So honestly, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button with the notification bell to be completely up to date from every live stream that I'll be doing. So hope you guys all enjoyed the showcase. Make sure to check out the showcases from Yamamoto and from Soifon. And I hope to see you guys all again into the next upcoming video. So on to the next one, guys. Take care later. Peace out.